Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, check this out, man. You know, we just got done live streaming the boxing event, man. We watched both Oscar Colazzo versus uh, Gerardo Zapata, which saw Oscar Colazzo win, um, you know, and retain his belt. And then we also saw Adrian Broner versus Blair the Flair. Woo! Cobbs, you know what I'm saying? That fight, you know, Don King Promotions, that fight was played out exactly how we thought, you know. Of course, you know, the heart wants to go with AB, you know what I'm saying? We want to see the can man back at it, you know what I'm talking about? But, you know, we just feel like, you know, I thought Blair Cobbs would win, you know, Blair the Flair. Woo! Woo! Cobbs, and he definitely won uh, just how I anticipated, you know, uh, Adrian Broder. I'm gonna be honest, man. The best thing about him, <laughs> about his performance, was maybe his walkout with Rick Ross. You know what I'm talking about? When I'm sure 50 Cent gonna have some words about his head. You probably should have walked out with Rick Ross, but as a fellow, that's a Floridian in me, man. Shout out to Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? I, I, the walkout was good, but, but Adrian Broder, just as we suspected, man, he couldn't channel his prime self, you know, or couldn't get back into his, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the caliber of fighter, the, the skill level that we we anticipate when we see uh, uh, Adrian Broder step into the ring. And it's unfortunate for him that, um you know, no disrespect to Blair Cobbs. He did what he was supposed to do. But you would think that if Adrian Broner wasn't just a shell of himself, that he would be able to beat uh, the caliber of fighter that Blair the Flair Cobbs is. Yeah. And, um, you know, Adrian Broder, to me, when I, when I saw him, you know, he, he looked like... You know, you know, you got the homies out there, man, that, uh, that, 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 that they work and they probably smoke and they drink, but they probably go hoop twice a week and they think they're in shape. You know what I'm talking about? Not knowing that when they sweat, they, you still smell the alcohol on them. That's what Adrian Brown looked like in the ring to me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's very dangerous to compete at such a high level, especially in the boxing game. You know, it's about pugilism and getting punched on. No one's supposed to get punched on. That's exactly what transpired in the second round. Whoop, whoop. Oh! Down goes Broner! A straight left hand and Broder got deposited. You know, you know, say he got punched on by Blair Cobbs and um apparently, you know, um uh, on his route on on the on his way to a um to a to a unanimous decision victory for Blair Cobbs. Apparently, it's been reported that Adrian Broder went to the hospital, man. And I just want to say that uh, you know we you know we make jokes and just, and you know Adrian Broder's not we probably not gonna show too much sympathy. He probably not gonna get too much sympathy because he does run his mouth a lot. You know, say the can man anybody can get it. American, Puerto Rican, Mexican. You know, what I'm saying so on and so forth. He's not gonna get too much sympathy, but he has also openly admitted that he was dealing with some demons, and that's what he kind of looked like. You know, say while he did get his get his shape, you know, say shot to. Uh, takes team, you know, they have that camaraderie there, and shout out to Coach Calvin Ford and, and Coach uh, Kenny Ellis. Uh, but you know, sometimes when you, when you go through some mental demons behind closed doors, uh, uh, it, it takes a toll on you. Know, you know, and I, me personally, I don't like to see boxes that, when I know that they're capable of doing more, not be able to produce at the level or perform at the level that we anticipate or we expect them to, you know what I'm saying? We, we see this countless of times, whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter. You know, you see Adrian Broner, he, he's clearly past, past, uh, uh, past his, uh, uh, his peak performance, you know, Deontay Wilder's past, past his prime, you know, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Roy Jones, we see them fight too long, too long. We know that they would perform better than what we, what we saw, you know, and that gets very dangerous. Now, while I'm not a person to tell somebody to stop doing what they love doing, you know, and stop making money, I'm not going to say that. But, you know, you want to make sure that you keep your faculties uh, after boxing and you want to make sure that you uh, can perform in as, as safe as possible. But, you know, his mouthpiece kept coming out throughout the fight. So uh, they said that he was on the way to the hospital per report for potentially a broken hand. Um, I don't think he really let his hands go that much to have a broken hand. So maybe he did. But, you know, I, I could I, with, the, with the way the mouthpiece was falling out and the way the commentators were saying that. He, he lost a tooth after getting knocked down. He, he, he could put us to have a, a broken jaw, too. You know what I'm saying? You never know that they, they, they just keep it under wraps. Could be a broken jaw. Could be, could, could, could be a multitude of things, too, in addition to the broken hand. So, yeah, man, I will say this, though. Adrian Broner's, uh, to give us some credit, you know, he did let his hands go more than he did in his last fight against the lawyer, Bill Hutchinson, or, or hopefully I got his name right, Bill Hutchinson, I believe his name was. Uh, he did let his hands go a little more than that. But still, even, even still, you know, you would have liked to see Adrian Broner, you know, go with the fast hand speed, the combinations that we used to seeing him. We're accustomed to seeing Adrian Broner in the past. But I do think that, um, you know, in all seriousness, I think he should uh, really, really heavily consider retiring now, man, because uh, a shout out to Blair, Blair Cobbs, you know. Woo! 
big salute to him. He won, you know, did his thing. But I do think uh, Adrian Broner, you know, for for his own safety, it is all good. I think it should be his last fight. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. If you do think he should continue fighting, who do you think he should fight? And what do you think is next for Blair the Flair Cobbs, man? I don't know. I think he has some options. You know, I don't know who he beats at 147, but, you know, maybe he can fight Josh Taylor. If Josh Taylor doesn't fight Jack Catterall for a rematch, you know, I know Jack Taylor said he was, I'm um, Jack Taylor, Jack Catterall watched Regis Pro Gray. Uh, uh, or, or, or Arnold Barbosa Jr. And then Josh Taylor is talking about potentially moving up to 147. So they both coming off a loss. I mean, well, Blair's coming off a win and, 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 and Josh Taylor coming off a loss. Maybe that can happen. I don't know. There's, there's a whole bunch of fights that can happen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I'm about to go ahead and get off and get, finally go get some rest. I appreciate y'all arguing. As always, remember with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Appreciate y'all coming for the live stream. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Catch y'all tomorrow for uh, who you have tomorrow. For Bruce Shushu Carrington, he's going to be on the undercard uh, of, of Xander Zayas and Patrick Tessera. So I'll catch y'all on that one. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.